Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I'm going to show you how to create this one-paged fact sheet or one-page brochure, if you want to use that term, in Microsoft Word. Now, this is a very basic layout that we have here. And unlike some of the other tutorials we've done on fact sheets and brochures, this just simply shows you how you can set out a fact sheet very, very quickly. The template will be available from the website, so don't forget to go to OnlinePCLearning.com. There's many, many templates there for brochures and fact sheets. Right, well, let's get started. We'll open the blank canvas, open Microsoft Word to a blank document. Now, our first steps involve setting up the page layout. So go to Page Layout, and then to Page Setup, and we'll have a look at what we need to put in here. For our top dimension, we want it to be approximately one centimeter only, and the same for the bottom, down to one centimeter. For the left-hand indent, or left-hand margin, I should say, we want to go to 1.5. The right-hand, 1.5 as well. And for our paper, make sure that your paper is set to A4 and that your layout has no header. We can take the header right out, but we'll drop down the size of the footer down to around about 0.4 of a centimetre. So that's the page setup that we'll be using. Click OK. So the next thing to do is to type in the title of our document. Now that we have the title in, let's do a little bit of formatting with it. I'll unhide the ribbon here to make it a bit easier. With handling a complaint and your health provider, we want all these in uppercase. So on the Home tab, choose the uppercase. Click in here and just click under the fonts, click uppercase. So they're in uppercase. Grab the top piece of text and we want that to be a title text. So there we go. For this theme, that's the title text. If you change your theme, it will be different. In fact, I'm going to make this Calibri. So that's what we're going to be handling, a complaint with your healthcare provider. It's going to be Calibri as well, and we'll increase the size of this. So let's go up and see how much we can fit in so that it goes right across the page. So just scroll down, and you'll notice it increasing. So if we go to 36, we're going to be pretty right. So handling complaint with your healthcare provider. Let's make this a darker color, something like a... Um, here, this one here, what color we got here? We've got a red accent too darker. So we'll make it that color. Now what I want you to do here, we want to make this text a little bit tighter to start with. So we'll just highlight the text that we have. And on the paragraph styles here, click the button in the corner. And you'll notice that everything seems to be set up all right. We're aligned left. We've got nothing in there that's going to be untoward for us. So that's fine. We'll leave that as okay. But we'll go down here and click this next button that says line and paragraph spacing. Now, as you scroll down, you'll notice it makes the spaces bigger. I actually want this, this to be tighter. It's already on the smallest, but right at the bottom, you'll notice it says remove space after paragraph. Click that. So that moves our text back up underneath, which is exactly what we want to happen. Now, at the end of with your health provider, hit the, re the enter key so that we've gone to a new line. And we'll go up here and click Normal to bring that back to our normal size for the font that we're going to use. So we just click on our styles here, Normal. Now into here we want a strip that basically tells us that this is a fact sheet, when it was produced, and so on. So type that text into this line. So now that you have your text into here, highlight the text. With your text highlighted, you notice here we're looking at borders and shading. Just click down here and you can choose the shade color that you want. We'll choose a darker blue, that color there. Now when we've chosen that, we should have when we had it highlighted, gone through and just changed the text in here to a white. And you might even want to make it bold if you do. So that sets the header for our document and just shows a little bit of information. It's a health information series. It's a fact sheet number 45 issue date and you might need to put in here We generally will put in a review date for this document. In other words, it's only healthy for a certain time. Now copy that piece of information 
On the Insert tab, go to Insert Header and Footer and click the Footer and choose Edit Footer. And then down in your footer, right click and paste. And that's going to paste in that information into the footer. Now go up and say Close Header and Footer. So now here we have our document starting to hum along a little bit. We've got our, our title set up, we've got our, our, the series set up into here. Now we can start putting into here the information that we want. So just simply tab down, tab down into here. You'll notice this is now going to continue on that blue background shading. Just click into the area there where it said shading and colors and go no color. Now we can start putting in the first thing we want is the image that we're going to add into here. Now I found an image just in Clipart. You probably have your own images from your own organization. So for me, I just went in to find something we could use as a sample. I just went into Clipart and I grabbed hold of something. I think it was under Receptionist. So we go Insert, Clipart, Clipart, Receptionist, all media file types, include office.com content I've got here. Now. There's the document I chose. So we just click on that and then click on our document to pop it in. Look, it's almost the right size. In fact, we want it just a fraction bigger than that. So we'll hold down the shift key and just move it up one little tiny bit. Now to me, that's, that's an excellent image, isn't it? But I, I like things to look just a little unreal when they're on the paper. So choose corrections and just choose something with a little bit of plus and minus contrast. For me, that's nice, but you might like it the way it was. While it's still formatted, let's go in here and put a soft border around this. We won't need a reflection. Let's just find something that's going to be a nice soft border. Let's choose that one. So just hit the return key until we're underneath here. We want to put our text box into here. A text box showing some crucial information about what to do. And so we'll use something a little bit fancy this time. We'll go insert and text box but this time you'll notice there's a whole range single text box alphabet quote and so on we're going to find something that's nice i like this um, austin pull quote so we'll click onto that and it goes straight into where we want it to go so now grab the side of that text box and just make it in line with our image and into here you notice there's a content placeholder there we can just pop in our text so we'll add our text into here so what we need to do with this is just to position this text box. So with it selected, go to the Drawing Tools and Format, and we're just going to choose here In Line With Text. And you'll notice it popped the text box up very nicely for us. Now I can notice that in the bottom here in the footer, that, that information series and fact sheet is sitting a bit too high on the document. It must have got a return in there when uh, we entered it. So, Let's just pop in and have a look at that. We're going to insert, just to correct this, and to footer, and then to edit footer. And let's have a look. We'll just choose our pagination here so we can see what returns we've got. Look, there it is there. See the return? Let's get rid of that. Let's delete it. And when you do, you notice that's dropped down. All right, so we'll just turn off pagination. I don't like it when I'm working. And, and then we'll go back and close our document. Now into here, just underneath, we want to put a little bit of contact information. So we'll drop that in now into another text box, just a plain text box this time. So we'll choose Insert, and then we want a text box again, and this time we'll choose Draw Text Box. We'll just pop our text box over to here, we'll draw it in underneath that shape, or underneath the previous text box, and pop into here the text that you want in. Now, Here's the text that I've put into here. It's spaced too much for my liking. So we'll go up here and we'll remove the spacing from this particular text box. So home, when you go in and check the spacing, you'll notice it's 1.5, but well, we want to pop it up to one. We'll just go in and have a look at that. And we'll remove spacing after paragraph. So that's nice. And then also align it in the center and change its color to red so it stands out, and make it bold and italics. All right, so that's just a little bit of contact information in the bottom of our document. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? You might want to leave the border on that, or change the color of the border, or take the border off. Now, over here to the right of this image, we want to add another smaller image that encourages people to write 
their complaint or write their information in. So let's go in, we'll type in right over here, I think it was that we used. So yes, I typed in right, and here's the image. Click on the image and pop it over into our document. Now it's gonna make everything distorted at the moment. Don't worry about that. Click on the image and resize it with the shift key held down to pull it up so that it's smaller than your original image. Probably around about that size. While we have it there, let's put our border around that we'll use the same border that we used on the other document, which was that border there. Now, with it still highlighted, we're going to make its layout a bit easier to move around, so we'll click tight and grab the image and we'll pop it over here to the right. That's exactly where we want it to be. Now, you'll notice it's interfering with the border on this image. So we have a choice here to do one of two things. Make this image smaller or this image. We'll make this one here a little bit smaller just by holding down the shift key and moving it up a fraction. Still too small, we might just make this one just a little bit smaller. Now you'll have to fiddle around with this to get it exactly right, which means that this needs to be a fraction smaller and so on. You can see what we're doing here, just making our document nice and settled. Now we wanna just simply add our shape over here into the right. So it's insert, and we'll go through to shape, choose as a rectangular, square cornered rectangle, and pop it into here, all the way down. This is where our information is going to go, critical information, make it exactly the same size as the outside of your picture, and then format it accordingly. Let's choose something nice, let's choose this, that will suit the theme that we have with the blues on our document. Now into here, add your text. So how do we add our text? We'll just right click, add text, and then we can type in the text that we want into here. Now I've put the text in and I've made it white, but I've noticed now when I look at this, that really the white doesn't stand out because the background color is not contrasting enough. So we'll just click on the shape here and we'll choose a darker blue for our document. Is there one in here by default? Yes, there is. Let's choose this one over here in this theme. And that's starting to look really, really nice. So there you go, it's all done. You can just now tweak this a little bit to make it exactly as you. So there's the document we just created. Here's our original. Let's see how they compare to one another. Up to there, you can see the full document on the screen. Very, very simple to create this. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. Don't forget to go to the website. You can download this template. You can pull it apart, see how it's made, or just use it to customize to suit your own specific needs. Thanks very much for joining us and bye for now.